I'm meteorologist Peter Chan at the National Weather Service for Alaska statewide weather on this Wednesday, August 9th. Well, widespread smoke continues to be reported across much of the interior as the result of over 150 active wildfires in the region. And this smoke is causing low vi lower visibility that is impacting general aviation and the ability to fight uh, wildfires from the air. It's also uh, contributing to poor air quality, which has public health impacts. A red flag warning remains in effect until 10 p.m. this Wednesday evening for the central and eastern interior because of thunderstorms that are creating frequent cloud to ground lightning strikes that could initiate new fires. And it looks like the threat of thunderstorms will continue across areas of the interior from just east of Kotzebue Sound and up through the middle Yukon Valley uh, to along the Alcan border, the Yukon Flats down toward the 40 mile gold country, not just again on Thursday afternoon, but potentially into Friday. So just be uh, pay attention there. And uh, even though we do expect some wetting rains in areas, it's a question of you can still get fire starts despite some wetting rains when you have those lightning strikes ignite some of the uh, longer term fuels. We are also anticipating a stronger gale force low pressure system to move up into the Gulf this weekend and it will impact areas along the Gulf Coast and Panhandle with gale force winds and moderate to locally heavy rainfall. Right now it looks like areas along the north and northeastern Gulf Coast, especially in the vicinity of uh, Yakutat Bay and on into the Panhandle, could receive a moderate to heavy rainfall, two to three inch rainfall amounts over the two to three day period. And there could be some stronger Gulf uh, gale force winds along the Gulf Coast, extending back to along and just off the Kenai uh, uh, coastline as we go through the day on Saturday. So just a heads up to anyone having weekend plans uh, if you're gonna be along the Gulf Coast and in through areas of the Panhandle. Otherwise, we are losing now around five and a half minutes of daylight each day as we head toward the fall season. We'll also have the Aurora viewing season upon us soon. For Alaska Statewide Weather, I'm Peter Chan.